Dude, what do you mean that the guy who took the biggest hit in a football game should be declared the most valuable player for that week? This is Act My Age, lessons from a guy who's old enough to know better. I'm Brother Russ. Today, I want to talk about football. Normally don't talk about sports on this channel, but this is kind of important. The Alliance of American Football began last weekend, and uh, it's a new developmental professional league. I'm all for these sorts of things, but something really important happened, and there's one clip where Sean Washington delivers a big hit on Mike Bercovici that has gone all around. And if you watch any other AAF highlights from the week, you're going to see this clip. And I think it's extremely important, but maybe not for the reason that you're thinking. One-on-one, -on -one, picks up the first down. Bercovici never saw the man coming, and he is lit up. My goodness. Sean Washington with the stick. This has been the issue with Berkovici, awareness and ball security when pressure comes in the pocket. Wow, he was completely blindsided. He had no idea. Mm. Well, Washington put, a, put together a heck of a game a week ago or two weeks ago in the practice game. Now, it's my contention that Mike Berkovici, the guy who got that hit, is actually the most valuable player of the league for that week. Now, it doesn't make any sense, right? But let me tell you why. Because Sean Washington delivered a big, manly hit on that man. And Berkovici took that hit, he put his helmet back on, and he got back in the line. And that is the one clip that I have seen over and over and over again throughout so many YouTube videos this past week talking about the AAF. And the importance of it is this. If you actually watch those videos where they show that clip, every one of them that I saw that I can think of, someone kind of mumbled, and he got back up. He got back in the game. Didn't seem to affect him. That's the big one. And I'll tell you why. Because this delivered a message. A message that a man delivered a hit, and a man took a hit, and he got back up again. That means that for anyone who didn't watch this week, who saw that clip, so many of them are saying, I got to watch this. I got to see more of this. And the reason is this, because it's clear that these are men playing this game. Men like to watch other men play the game. And that's the important thing here. Bergovici could have called for the medic. He could have gone over to the ref and said, you know, where's a roughing the passer or something like this? No. He grabbed his helmet, put it back on, and was in the next play. That's what a man does when a man gets taken down. We are dishonoring what it is to be a man in this culture these days. I'm well aware of that. But there was an instance where men were playing, and even if it wasn't spoken out loud, a lot of men who watched it said, I need to watch that because that's where the men are playing. And I think that's going to be one of the reasons why this league has a wonderful chance of succeeding. I was a UFL fan back in the day. On, uh, on the field, they figured out how to get things done. Off the field, they were a disaster. These people off the field at the AAF seem to have thought so much through. I think they've got a good chance. But there clearly are people on that field who are there to play the game, and they're being men about it. And that speaks volumes to other men, and that's going to, I believe, draw more men into watching. So that's why I think Mike Berkovici gets the thumbs up as the most valuable player, because he delivered the message to so many people who had not seen the league. They see the clip, they say, there's a man. He took the hit, he got up, he got back in. So. Hats off to you, sir. If you like this video, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.